Hello, this is Bill from BrainMaster Technologies. We're here today to do a video tutorial on our new Atlantis hardware and the 2.5 SE software. This is going to include the installation of the Atlantis hardware along with the usage of the software including building client folders, building settings files, using our remote training option with session librarian, including the introduction of the new event wizard, this will also include our new visual feedback options such as the multimedia player and the new DVD player. Be sure to jot down or take any notes necessary and feel free to call the office at 440-232-6000. First of all today we're going to start with our installation of the new Atlantis hardware. It's a USB device so our first step is simply plugging the USB cable that is hooked to the Atlantis into your USB port on your PC. The next step is a balloon should open at the lower right hand corner that says find new hardware which then will begin the welcome to found new hardware wizard. Since our 2.5 SE software is already installed on this PC we're simply going to choose the selection no not this time and that's to the question can Windows connect to, to Windows Update to search for software. We click no not this time next it's gonna then ask us our, should it install automatically or should we install from a list or specific location we are going to install from a specific location we hit next you notice that on my PC I see C colon backslash brain M dot 20 backslash USB files if this doesn't show up please hit the browse and browse to that file the way you would do that is you'd simply go to local disk C brain M 20 scroll down you'll find a folder named USB files then simply click OK. Once we have the path correct, we click Next. If any other box is checked, please uncheck it and have just include this location in the search checked. We hit Next. The wizard begins to look for drivers. It finds the Atlantis One module. More than likely on your PC, you're only going to get one option. We hit Next. We get a hardware installation note that says that we have not passed a Windows logo and that's because this is Brain Master software, not Windows XP software. So we simply hit continue anyway. After a few moments, the hardware wizard will complete the installation. We notice we have an option for finish. We then click finish. Okay. Down in the lower right hand corner we get a new balloon that said found new hardware. This is the second part of the installation. It now needs to install the USB port. Again we click no not this time. We then click next. Again install from specific location. Next. We notice the path again is listed for us. Next. It begins the installation. It finds the drivers. One more next. Again, continue anyway. A few moments later, you will get an option for finish. We're then noticed in the lower right hand corner a found new hardware. Your new hardware is installed and ready to use. We've completed the first step of the installation process of our Atlantis hardware. Our next step is to find out which COM port has the, soft, or the hardware been installed on. We'll simply go up to our My Computer icon, which is usually located on your desktop. If this is located on the desktop, you can simply right click, then scroll down to Properties and we'll get the systems properties box. Now I'm also going to show for those that do not have a my computer icon on their desktop we'll go ahead and close this temporarily 
The other method to get there is simply going to the Start menu, then up to Control Panel, okay, scrolling down to System, single left click, and again we're to the same box. Oftentimes in Windows there's, there's a few different ways to do the same thing. So now that we're at the System Properties box, we will simply click the Hardware tab. Then our next option would be the Device Manager tab. We then get a Device Manager window. As we scroll down, we'll see several different options. We're looking for ports. We see ports and a plus sign. As we click the plus, it's going to expand and it's going to let us know that the Brain Master Atlantis 1 module is installed on COM7. If we'd like to change this particular COM number to, for instance, a lower COM, such as 3 or 4, we can right click, go to Properties, we go to Port Settings, Then we have to click the Advanced button. We notice at the top we have COM port number and it's showing 7. If we hit the drop down arrow, we can simply scroll up. And even though it says in use, I'm aware that I don't have any other USB device plugged into the computer at this time, I simply choose 4, I click OK. And you notice I have an a announcement from Windows that says the COM name is being used by another device. I also know that that's not the case, so I can simply hit yes and it will remap to COM4. The next step is to simply click OK to get out of that box. We then want to close Device Manager so that it can refresh. We then simply go back into Device Manager back to ports and now we see the Brain Master Atlantis on COM4. Okay. At this point we can close Device Manager, close System Properties, close Control Panel and we're back to our desktop.